fail actually a couple times throughout this tournament. Um, I don't know why he would actually opt for da Mario over Meta Knight against Rob. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Uh, I'm not the one up there. Uh, <laughs> I guess we're going straight into it. We're going to Smashville, uh, game one, boring man. NorCal's number two against Sneeze, SoCal's number 12. Shouts to Broccoli yet again. All right, so <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what happens in this matchup, and I feel like- Oh, neither. <laughs> uh, this is this is a, I don't know. I'm not any, familiar any with- Any matchup is like, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, pretty much, literally. Like that, that, that that's all it is to me too. But Mario, uh, Ooh, that was a nice uh, mix up. Recovery mix, uh, not recovery, uh, approach mix up, sorry. I feel like this might be bad for Mario. I feel like Rob has, like, an interesting, like, item game against him, and just in general, his Ooh. tilts and stuff, like, stuff out a lot of what Mar Mario Ooh. does. Wow, but. I like the way he up under the platforms. Yeah. Uh, boring man can't contest that. Yeah, exactly. When it's over, like, uh, the edge like that. Yeah, know? no, definitely. Then, like, it's, it's, uh, it covers, it covers a lot. It covers a lot, and not only can you do it once, but he actually did it twice, and the yeah. second one is the one that actually led to the kill. So great stuff by Sneeze. Securing Boring Man's first stock here in game one. Right now, Sneeze is playing the zoning out of, like, in and out of your face game with Nairs. Yeah. Uh, sending Boring Man offstage at the fair. Sneeze trying to catch him with the uh, edge guard situation, but he couldn't. And got a dash attack. Still sending Boring Man offstage. Wow. Boring Man with the accidental air dodge. Sneeze with the taunt. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, so nice. He. Sneeze is actually really like interesting when he go when he when he plays an aggressive like game. Oh no, it's actually like disgusting to watch. Oh it's, yeah, like, it's phenomenal. It's actually scary. And like what? And then another thing too is like like Rob isn't it doesn't do bad against floaties like like well not floaties but like you know like oh. this double of weight this heavy this kind of weight. And so I don't think okay he's gonna. Oh wow! Good, uh, good job by Sneeze uh, recognizing that he can actually just do a light. Uh, a pinwheel and Mario really can't do anything about it in the first time, the first hit, because it was like it was perfect. Exactly. The placement was perfect. Right now it looks like Born Man doesn't have a set game plan against Sneeze. Sneeze with the triple dash through shield. Oh my goodness. Not doing anything. But he's making a statement right now. Oh. He got the grab to pummel two times the up throw. That's gonna secure Born Man's oh third stock. Oh my goodness. Sneeze about the four stock Born Man. Let's see what Born Man has to say about that. Sneeze putting the fear into him with these taunts and this Actually, just taking this really strong lead, but now, not a four stock. Oh, Ooh, that was actually extremely smart. The way that the top was placed made Nair not safe, but uh, it's pseudo safe yeah. in a way. Okay. Uh, Boring Man with the good recognition, realizing that Fair was unsafe on Shield, so he grabbed him. Did get too much of a punish off it right now. Uh, that was probably the first time in the whole entire game so far where Boring Man had like, I guess the initiative in the initial, uh, in the neutral. Uh huh. Uh, he's like being actually aggressive and actually getting like conversions and went on off that. Whereas Sneeze has been the one who's been all over in Boring Man's space and face this whole entire, uh, game so far. Oh yeah, definitely. Is and 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 I think like Boring, Boring Man's not recognizing exactly what to do and it's like kind of like, well, this kind of play style. I don't. Even, does NorCal have a Rob? I I don't know. Does I, any place have a Rob? Uh, Texas. But Besides Louisiana? That, yeah. Is Louisiana drinking food? Yeah, and, and Texas is Oracle, right? Oh, right. So oh, other right. than that, like, there's no real other true uh, Rob means that I can at least come off the top of my head. But mm -hmm. I, I'm not familiar with too much, too, too many other scenes. So I can't, I'm not trying to discredit anybody who's watching. Sorry about that if you're actual Rob mean and you're somewhat credible. But I don't, I don't, I, I do not, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, wow, okay. So in that entire spiel, uh, Boring Man took another stock off Sneeze. Uh... Okay. I, oh, I near from the edge. Let's see what he eats off that. He eats an up air. Oh, yeah, I think he wanted to jump earlier so he can get like a interesting combo off of that. Uh, oh. That was weird. The cape didn't do anything to the top. To the top, yeah, it, to, it still hit him. That was interesting. I thought it was funny. Then it make it his Oh, kind. nice with the uh, fade out, fade in jets to Nair to send Boring Man up to the ceiling, securing his last stock. Great stuff by Sneeze. Um, Boring Man. Let's see if he still is going to opt for Mario over Meta Knight. He's thinking about it. Oh, I guess he's going to say Mario, I guess. Well, I mean, it, it, well, do you guys have it set up as uh, stage first, uh, character second? Mm. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, I'm assuming we're going back Paragon rules, so I'm sure he's opting to ban stuff first, and then he's going to go to change the pick to Mario and then pick stage. Most likely. So. 
Uh, get him with his white cap. Yeah, yeah I, I, it seems like he's probably he's probably gonna do that. It seems like he's really thinking about it. And I don't I don't think at this point if you're thinking too hard about it, if you know where your that's all good. Where your where your heart lies in this moment, I think he should change the Meta Knight. Mm -hmm. And I'll speak as Meta Knight Rob. It's not that bad. Like Meta Knight actually has a lot of a has an interesting uh. Because uh, he can play with that kind of combo weight against Rob. Uh, yeah. He, he, can, he can make a lot of money off of like the, off of those kind of combos. And they're going to go straight into it. It's straight Mario. Into it. All right, I guess he's sticking with Mario. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think it was necessarily a stage thing from game one. It just kind of seemed like Boyman didn't have an answer right. uh, for Sneeze's uh, way of approaching the neutral in the way he was playing the matchup. Okay. Uh, but right now, I mean, I guess Boyman is already starting to recognize the openings and Sneeze's... Uh, Pressure. Okay. Sneeze chasing him down with the check situation with the up air. Doesn't get much off that. Boring man now reversing it with a jab grab. Doesn't miss the fair or doesn't get wow. the fair. Great and awareness by Boring Man. Actually calling a lot of these uh DI uh, and like platform chases. Like yeah. he's, he's actually playing really well right now. Indeed. I, I I think this actually works out for Mario in a little bit of a way because of like Ooh. that kind of situation. Oh wow, that was really smart. Yeah. Oh, oh and now? Man now getting into it. Um I just wanna reiterate. I don't know if you noticed, but the top underneath the right platform, the way Sneeze was playing around that top was actually phenomenal. It was very, very minuscule, but it was very smart the way he was just kind of handling around it. Which yeah, made he was it micromanaging hard. it. Yeah, yeah, he was micromanaging it. It was very, very tight play. Uh, but I mean, Boring Man scored the first stock, so. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, you know, try, no, no real bias in that, but I mean, it's just really, like, both of these players are actually playing really smart. Uh, I think yeah. Warrior Man kind of, like, figuring out that there's a... Oh, there's wow. openings. Yeah, he's figuring out. Ooh. Oh, why, uh, why did he hit that? Why I don't did he know. Hit him? He aired out off stage, didn't he? I, I think so, and which is really strange because he probably just shook out. He uh, probably got out of his stun a little bit earlier. Than, yeah. Or he DI'd really well, so I don't know. Um, I think Mario now is at that percent where Downthrow's not going to lead to anything uh, for Rob. Oh, oh nice great recognition. K. Great K. Boring Man was ready for that. Down tilt, send him off stage. He just Ooh. upbeat the what? Yeah, he upbeat the, he upbeat the top. <laughs> so, I mean, I didn't realize that that was a thing, but you know what? It worked out in Boring Man's favor. Doesn't have to worry about getting. Ooh, great uh, AGT toss. Not only did it help him recover, but it also uh, hit Boring Man away. Oh, my goodness. And Snee is actually noticing that, like, he's been really aware of a lot of his projectile games. So, keeping the top and actually getting the kill off of that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, keeping the top, keeping the lasers. So, Sneeze also, I think, re-recognizing that, too. That's why he went high, because the angle that he sent it, it was, like, it, it could have it been really bad if, uh, if if Sneeze was just, like, running to approach instead of uh, taking an area away. But, okay, up, th exactly. up throw to take, take the stock. Boring, man. Still in a lead. Full stock of a lead. And mm. I think if uh, Boring Man gets another grab, mm. he'll definitely get a good amount of percentage off of that. Almost definitely. Uh, the thing I definitely notice a lot more is... Um, He's actually converting a lot more off these grabs compared to game one. Game one, he didn't oh, yeah. get any fat conversions whatsoever. But pretty much off of every down throw, he has actually gotten a good amount of percent. Uh, just last down throw, he got like about 60%. Uh, so great stuff by Boring Man. Great adaptation. Uh, maybe he's just more warmed up. Okay, yeah. It seems like he's recognizing a lot of this. Uh, okay, uh, see, now, now Boring Man actually understanding that if he's on a platform, he's a shield because he's going to do... Uh, uh, thruster into uh, up air to cover a lot of the stage and uh -huh. like boy man actually finally like taking a taking an understanding that hey I shouldn't be just sitting standing here I need to like either get off or a whole shield and exactly. like let him approach and fall through uh, nay or something exactly. so I, yeah like really a lot of adaptation by boring man I, I don't yeah. think this is also a stage thing I think this is just a, a him player ad thing. adapting yeah. yeah this is really impressive by him uh, oh gonna get off the mic for a quick second all right that all right, so I think right now the way that uh, uh, Man's playing, I think he needs to do. I need a lot of water. Oh wow, uh, the back air. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm I need to uh, reset. So he's gonna throw top. He's gonna give him an item game. Um, nice fair. Oh wow, great jab and down smash because he recognized that he crouch canceled it. So, um, oh, down throw, down fair, throw fair. Yeah. yeah, that's that, it. That's I think it was game. like three of his stocks. Down throw fair. Yeah. Boring man smiling about it now. Uh, he's starting to get the hang of things now. Yeah. Uh, and good job, good good mindset by him, not being so discouraged by that game one. Uh -huh. I mean, most people like in that kind of a lead and like how 
how convincingly Sneeze took that, they would think, like, man, like, I'm just not ready for this. But no, yeah. Morning Man recognizing, you know what? I just need to adapt. I need to, I need, I need to, I need to settle on what I, I shouldn't be doing on platforms. I need to settle what I shouldn't be doing off stage. And mm -hmm. he, he's, he's back in there. So I think for Sneeze, he's going to want to probably end up going PS2, right? Maybe. I'm not sure. I, I think it's between PS2 and I can see why he wouldn't want to run it back. But yeah, see, there you go. PS2. Yeah. So, Rob amazing on PS2. All right, so game three, uh, we have Sneeze versus Bari Man, uh, Pokemon Saiyan 2. Little quick zesty fact: Sneeze was actually originally from NorCal, and then he moved to SoCal. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that. Uh, I, I knew that, that he he went to SD first, and he was a he was he was SD player. That's as far as I knew, like yeah. him, like his like regional status. So, wow, accidental uh, F smash with the opposite direction by Sneeze. I'm pretty sure that was complete input error. Yeah. Uh, wow. Good patience by Boring Man. Indeed. Uh, Boring Man has got oh. a large conversion of the uh, up airs. And um, Boring Man now is taking the fact that Fair is actually not safe on shield. He got in shield grab. He got fat punches off that. So good recognition by Boring Man. I think also a uh, funny little thing that's not really as... Uh as uh, noticeable as you think, but uh, Sneeze, not taunting anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, like, you know, like, oh. he might have Wow, that was really smart. And he oh, gets the phenomenal play by Sneeze. Off the, off the, off the uh, screen. That was amazing. All he right. sent Boring Man all the way to the right side, hitting him with the laser, and then clipping him one last time with the up air. That was a phenomenal play by Down Sneeze. Down throw. Fair. Down there throw you to go. Fair, yep. wow, sending him straight up. Yeah. Off the top. Boring Man recognizes he doesn't need anything that's fancy. Just down throw to dunk. Yeah, no, the boring, boring man not uh not opting Thank to you. go like you said, not going for anything fancy. What have been drinking? What the? <laughs> well, anyways, uh, all right. So wow, uh, I think now like Steve's understanding where boring man's at at the level of understanding of a of a of how how boring man is playing. Steve's taking a little bit of a different a cautious approach. Uh, other than earlier with that offstage game, I think he just was very confident in that. But otherwise, uh, a great re adaptation by Sneeze. Yeah. And it's looking kind of even. Uh, three stocks apiece. By the way, if you guys are just joining us, welcome to Broke House Gym Leg Day. Uh, we have Boring Man and Sneeze. <laughs> the round two. Winner's round two. <clears throat> Sorry, okay. I was drinking water. I'm <laughs> back in it. I, I kind of left tech bonus alone to commentate for a bit. My bad, guys. <laughs> so right now, both players are playing a little bit more slower paced. Uh, Sneeze seems like he's actually kind of controlling the pace despite the fact that he's actually behind. Uh, but now he's actually ahead and percent leads. Dead even. Oh, that's oh, no. going to be unfortunate. Uh, is he going to make it back? He no, make that's it, back. it. He's out of his thrusters. Yep. Boreman realizing that all he need to do is just F tilt, stinky leg, and that would have finished off Sneeze. Sneeze again with the laser to send him off stage, but that's not going to do anything. What's he going to do? He's going to get a few puddles. He's going to up throw, but is that going to kill him PS2? Yeah. That is going to kill in the corner with the taunt by Sneeze. Nearly nothing that he could have done. Like, Leveling himself up, feeling himself right now. Boreman laughing it off. All right, so nice there. Oh, wow. Uh, I hope he would DI in. He did that up tilt, I think. That, that's yeah. not just... Somebody you threw out. So, yeah. oh wow, nice top in the grab. Top in the grab with the up air. Oh, oh Doctor, or not Doctor, Boring Man caping the laser. <laughs> he got the nair with the up air. Wow, <laughs> Boring Man, Man with the great late uh, cape play. To be uh, honest, like uh, all the other ones, yes, they've been intentional. But that one, I'm pretty sure he was just trying to keep a, a, a aerial like uh, momentum. A momentum. So like it just it just worked out perfectly for him. Mm -hmm. Like that one, that one just seemed way too perfect. Like he, before he even threw out the laser, he just did side B. So oh, he just knew. Oh, nice fair. Uh, right now, sneeze um, is actually changing the way fair? he uh, approaches now. Uh, he's not just doing like thruster fair. Yeah. Uh, he's doing like thruster uh, up thruster to forward thruster, or, like uh, following area like that kind of thing, right? Uh huh. Uh, he's mixing up the timings too, so it's great adaptation by him. Boring man, he's actually not getting the conversion that he needs, but he goes for the raw Kobe dunk and gets Sneeze's third stock. Right now, Sneeze playing from a deficit, but Boring Man kill percent right now. Boring Man is just ready for every single laser, preparing with the cape. Well, now Sneeze is going to up throw. Is that going to kill Boring Man? That is. It's oh. a last lock situation. Game three. Game this three. This is winner's, winner's uh, bracket, so. Round two. SoCal versus NorCal. Well, ex NorCal, who's now SoCal. <laughs> versus SoCal. Oh, or boy. Oh, my gosh. I can't. I can't even. I wonder if these players have any history because of that. Maybe. Hmm. That's actually interesting to ponder on now. Yep. All right, so. Oh, Sneeze is going to do fair. Fair. Nice top. Keep him locked. 
Top and lock. Boring Man can't do anything with that top right there, but now Boring Man with the top now. Oh, wow. oh and that's oh, an up air. The third up air. Oh my it's goodness! The next up air. And, and Sneeze with the pop off. Great Sneeze. That was Phenomenal a really great Sneeze. Set. He sent Boring Man off stage to a fair and up air chain into Lund last fair. Wow. Phenomenal play.